like they'll be like, I have your assignments, they were graded. They, they were mocked. mocked. channel if you haven't subscribed yet then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution guys I don't know I feel like it's time for us to get to 100k now okay this is our journey it's not just me it's not about me it's about you it's about us okay so let's get to 100,000 subscribers guys so it may seem like I am alone but I'm not alone today I am with a European and American I'm back y'all so, ladies, can you guys please introduce yourself to the people? Real quick, y'all already know who it is. Angie in the come up, y'all already know. Hi guys, my name's Alda. I'll be representing the European. So, I was born in Albania, raised in London, and here I am now for college. Period. Today, we are going to be doing a language tag. So, we are all studying in America. Of course, she is American and she's going to be representing America. I'm going to be representing South Africa because I'm South African. And she's going to be representing Europe. And of course, I just want to say that there's no one person who can ever represent an entire nation, an entire group of people. So, please don't come in the comments and say, we don't sound like that, we don't blah, blah, blah. This is all about personal experience and how we grew up. Um, let's say you have a tummy ache and you feel really sick and you end up bleh. What's that word? Throw up. Vomit. Did I use barf? Oh, yeah, some people do say that. <laughs> so it's not a common thing to use the word barf? I mean, in, we in England, England it's it not like In, in England common. it is. <laughs> so in England the common one is barf? Yeah, that's a very common one. So barf, vomit, throw up. Does anyone use the word chanda? What is Same. that? Now just making making stuff up. You don't know <laughs> yes. We just coming here with any word now. <laughs> you don't know the word chanda? Nope. You don't? Really? Funka! Damn, she thinks I'm a fake European. She. What is the name of the season when the leaves change color and fall to the ground? They like they become orange, yellowish. Autumn. Fall. <laughs> autumn. It's called autumn. Autumn. It is called. Autumn! Yeah. I love the fall season. Why is it called fall? Uh, I don't know. As far as I can remember, like, I remember, like, in kindergarten have, having them say autumn, but, like, growing, growing up, it's been fall. Because it's autumn. autumn. Because you don't speak English. <laughs> oh, clearly not. I just lo sabe español. And that's on period. Like, when I moved to America, for me, that was a shock because I'd never heard people use the word fall. fall. Yeah. Why? Yo, you're right. They say fall semester and spring semester. No, no, it should be autumn. But autumn semester sounds weird, though. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Bruh. When your professor is, uh, okay, so you have an exam and your professor gives you a grade. The act of him giving you a grade, what is that called? When he's going through your stuff to give you a grade? I guess grading. I call it marking your work. Yes. Marking. We say that. But I guess grading actually makes more sense than marking, if I'm going to be honest. Because he's giving it a grade. Marking is like you mark, if you know, like you mark something, you're leaving a mark, but it's not grading per se. Like, they'll be like, I have your assignments, they were graded. They, they were mocked. mocked. <laughs> Y'all see this? They jump at me. <laughs> they jump at me. All I was asking you to do was to bring an opinion, not to be made fun of. What is the day that comes after Monday? Tuesday. 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 It's I'm Tuesday. Sorry. They're over here talking about enunciating your teeth. Tuesday. They're over here saying Tuesday, Tuesday. Where's the CH coming from, huh? Tuesday, <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> Say it again, watch. Tuesday. Tuesday. Ha! Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday today. Tuesday. Oh Tuesday. My. Wait, how do you? I Tuesday. Mean, you guys say stupid, right? Stupid. We say stupid. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> I feel like an essay it depends. Some some people say stupid, others say stupid. Being very stupid. stupid. <laughs> That's a stupid thing to do. Okay, that one we're gonna have to take an L. Even though the two of us say it, it's we're saying it wrong. Tuesday. Tuesday. We say chew. Like I never noticed it though until somebody who's I didn't American born to, like to the U.S. Exactly. I had an American friend of mine say, "Did you just say Tuesday? Like chew?" I was like. Who? Yeah. I'm surprised you guys pronounced your T in Tuesday. Uh, 
Who's so Brian's gonna say Who's day? Who's day? Who's day? <laughs> we got y'all. Let's leave them alone. Wow. The next round of activities is we're going to pronounce certain words. So the first word is D A N C E. Dance. 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 <laughs> Dance. <laughs> <laughs> when you say it like that, it's like you make it fun. Dance. You want to know dancing? That's how y'all sound. <laughs> it's dance. Dance. Dancing. <laughs> dancing. <laughs> It sounds, it sounds good. It sounds better. That's how it should sound. I don't know. I feel like there's three people and two say dance and one says dance. It's yo, you set her up. <laughs> you set her you, up. She really set me up for failure here. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, guys. Colonization. So that's the real reason why I sound like this. So. Damn. Damn. I was born in Albania. <laughs> Let me just put that out there. I only have British citizenship. That is it. <laughs> One is T H E R E. There. 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 Oh, you see the difference? It's so cute. The diversity. I know. I feel like Americans tend to really roll their R's. So it's like there, here, where, with the R's. That's how you guys sound. Here. That's not how they sound. Here. Here. Ew. <laughs> here. There. there. Everywhere. Also the T, you guys tend to like not pronunciate your T's. So yeah. like for instance, I want it. And you guys would be like, I, I want, want it. it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is mm -hmm. it? I want it. What's it? It. 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 What's it? Like, <laughs> that's it. It. Where's the rest of it? In it. You know, I feel like, what's the point? Like, you just say it. It. It's for like dramatic purposes. Like where I'm getting mad at somebody. Like, like it. Well, maybe because it is how it's supposed to be said. Yeah, because it. Yeah. So obviously, everybody that this video was made for to make fun of me, <laughs> put down in the comments <laughs> why. Look, the three of us are in your country at the end of the day. So who's really winning? <laughs> the next word is C L A S S. Class. Class. Class? Say class. 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 Oh, oh, it just sounds so much better. So much better. Class sounds classy. Yeah, and also you're not doing as much like class. Yeah, yeah. Class. 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 Yeah, class. <laughs> like e. Mm -hmm. Class. 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 I don't know why it's so hard for y'all. Like class. It just, it just comes out class. Class. It's fine. You were born into it. She basically said you were born into the ghetto. That's what she said. What? Because we said class is classy, and then she said you were born into it. So essentially, what she's saying is you were. She called you ghetto. Essentially, is what I'm saying. What are you talking about, man? She dragged that. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you I hope you guys just witnessed how she turned. Another example of me to drag me. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm gonna be a better person. Okay, actually, let's say that word. I'm gonna be a better person. Which word? Better. 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 Honestly, honestly, I'm gonna be honest. When it comes to me and pronouncing my T's, it could go one way or the other. If I'm lazy, I say better. If I'm being normal, I say better. So it's a lazy thing. Yeah. To not say better. Be better. Better. Wetter. Wetter. <laughs> better. So like I could say water bottle or I could say water bottle. What water bottle. What what water bottle. Y'all should just leave it to the Europeans. Water 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 bottle. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. What uh? He's like, what uh? Men's not hot, babe. <laughs> I told him men's not hot. Ah, <laughs> uh, baby, don't trip. Ah, no, you Okay, you can get hit. Are we gonna talk about this? Is a very problematic line, by the way. Lower your tone because you video. can get hit. Another okay. video. Okay, all right. Okay. <laughs> Another video. Okay, so the next thing is. We, we need to spell the word check, as in, can you write me a check? Oh. So we spell it C-H-E-Q-U-E. -E. Yep, same. I thought that's how I spelled. 
Yo, stop. Y'all spell it different? C H E C K. Check. But the word check means something else than chick. We, Wait, I've never heard that? anybody like spell check with the, with the Q. Really? Yeah, I'm being serious. Like this is the first for me. How have I been here for three years? I didn't realize you guys spelled that different. You didn't feel? No, I've been spelling. Honestly, when I write essays, I still type it in British English. That's something I was really surprised about because I'm an accounting major. So when I saw the word check in the book, I was like, Sir, so they spelt it wrong. This is not, this is incorrect. <laughs> check. Because what if you say, I want to go check the check? So you're just going to say check, check? Pretty much. So the next thing is, can you spell neighbor? Neighbor. Okay, I have to think. N E I G H B O U R. Neighbor. <laughs> Everything was right until she she added the U R. No, we just say O R at the end. I just can't get over it. Same thing with color too. Like color, just, favor. Just take out the U for the vibes. Just they're just lazy. Just because you feel like it. Is that weird for you? The U, the idea of the U. I mean, I've always like seen like the words, but with a U. But like growing up, and when they taught me at school, it was always color as in like C O L O R. Okay, so when you are writing the date, what format do you normally use? Oh, I hate personally, that do it. it's the day, the month, the year. Yeah. Can you explain why you put the month first? It's so confusing. Why are you doing it out of order? Listen, I don't have the answers. I was just told that this was the way. Isn't that the a bit month, weird though? The day and then the year. Like, what if it's the first of Feb? So you're gonna say 02, 01, 2020, but that could easily be the second of Jan. You know, for the longest, I also thought 9/11 was um, the 9th of November. <laughs> Doesn't the rest of the world do it how we do it? I think so. I've I've never well I mean I guess I've only lived in two countries. Albania does it how we do it. Okay, so the last activity we're going to do is we're gonna look at pictures and say what we see. Oh, oh. this is the first picture. Do you see? Do you see? Yeah. What is that? A bin. A dustbin. That's a trash can. It's not a can! Why is it called a dustbin? Um Cause it's a dustbin. That's my store. I'm sticking to it. But like, but it doesn't have just dust though. Okay, yeah. but dust goes in it though. But what? Why is it called a bin? What? Cause it's just a bin. Okay, but like, many things could be called a bin. Really, nigga? Why is it called a trash can? I don't know. We it's a change trash in a trash can. But it's not a can. I have no idea. <laughs> okay, so the next picture. These kids are at school. Mm-hmm. What is oh, the name my. of the school they're in? As in like, what level? What level of school are they in? Nursery. I mean, kindergarten, I suppose, or even before kindergarten, preschool. The crash. Go nursery, reception, then you start year one, year two. What is reception? One. Before you start year one. I've never heard of reception before. Really? Reception. Like, I know a reception area. Yeah, no. Nah, a receptionist. We, it's, it's, I'm assuming that's her preschool? version of kindergarten. So we have crash. And then we've got preschool or grade zero, and then we have grade one, two, three, four, up to twelve. I what mean, about you? Elementary school runs from like first grade, but kindergarten sometimes, or first grade to like fifth grade, and that's elementary school. But then like sixth grade to eighth grade is middle school, and then from like you know in high school, which is like ninth to twelfth. But then there's also like some states that you know consider like. Like middle school to be part of elementary school, like from first grade to like yeah. eighth grade. Yeah, so we have primary school and high school. Primary is like one to seven, high school is eight to 12. And then we have primary school, which is nursery slash reception to year six. And then secondary school, which is year seven to year 11. And then we have sixth form, which is year 12 to year 13. That's so extra. Stuff. 13! She said 13. You said 13? Yeah, 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 12 and yeah, 13. Are they together or they're two different years? They're, two di they're basically your junior and senior year of high school. Oh, way. I thought she said that she was. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> you look so I stressed. She thinks we do more school than. I mean, like, I thought, like, she was saying that they're, like, she had, like, 
past 12 grade levels like i was like so wait you're in like regular we're school one to like 19 like yeah, I'm like, yeah. Ah! we're just one ahead of you guys so like when you guys say grade 9 that's year 10 for us yeah. oh okay what is this baby wearing a diaper a nappy uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah, we say nappy. That's a napkin. Or pampers. No, that's a diaper. It's a napkin. It's a nappy. Napkin. Yeah, napkin. Shortcut Stop. is nappy. Stop. No, because <laughs> you know nappy comes from napkin. Yeah, nappy. A baby nappy. Napkin They're in a napkin. Stuff I used to wipe my face, my hands, like that's tissue. a that's a serviette. Oh, she fancy, fancy. Right. That's a napkin. <laughs> that's. A, I just say tissue. <laughs> Can you hand me some tissue? <laughs> She said serviette. Yeah, so the tissue like on the table to wipe your hands when you eat, it's called a serviette. This is called a napkin or a nappy. Americans call those serviettes napkins. What is this? A plaster. A band aid. It's a plaster. <laughs> it's a band aid. You mean like the type of plaster that you put on a wall or that you use for mm, art? No. It's like a plaster that you put on a thing when you're hurt. Plaster. Say hey, plaster? Plaster. Plaster. Are we saying that the same? No. Plaster. 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 Okay. What is this? Jelly. No, that's jam. Jam. Yeah, that's jam. This thing you put on your the bread. Dessert that's this like is the thing you put on your bread. bread. When you make toast, you put jam. We say jelly. I know you guys do. It's called jam though. It's this awesome. is jelly. That's jelly. That's jelly. That's this jelly. is jelly. Jello? Gelatin. Gelatin. That's jelly. That's jelly. Why jello? Jello. Jelly. Jelly. Hey, I just don't get why you call jam jelly and, and jelly jello. jello because jelly is jelly and jam is jam. Yeah. So oh, what is this called? That's an eraser. It's, it's a rubber. rubber. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Before I came to America, the only piece of advice I got is when you ask for an eraser, don't say rubber because apparently it means something else here. Because a rubber, a rubber is a condom. Yeah. Imagine like, being in math class, middle of the day, turn around, be like, yo, you got a rubber, sir? <laughs> just, just leave. I mean, no, but I can get what that Jesus is love! I don't know why you guys decided to use rubber for something else. I guess because if you think about it, if you call a condom a rubber, it rubs out the kids. If you, because... What a, wait, no, the material! PG! The, the material! F them kids, guys. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm completely joking. Um, but do practice safe sex and be responsible. And uh, yeah. Actually, before we go, can we all say one sentence, the exact same sentence, so people can hear what the different accents sound like? I can't pick up tomatoes before I go to class. I can't pick up tomatoes before I go to class. <laughs> I can't pick up tomatoes before I go to class. That being said, that's it for today, guys. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe, and I will be back with more videos. If you want to see them on my channel again, comment down below. If you guys would like us to do a video on, like, you know, educating you about how we speak. And proper English. Mm-hmm. Or if you just want to see more of me in general, because I know I'm a fan favorite, like, you know. <laughs> You already know. Comment. <laughs> Peace and love, guys. <laughs>